Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here with a video detailing the four, or usually three now, games with gold games for November. Now what I mean by detailing is just having a look and checking out how long it takes to complete, how easy or hard it is, and of course if it's any good. <laughs> Never judge a book by its cover and all that. So anyway, we start off with a cheeky old stealth title, Aragami Shadow Edition. Now first off to note, the Shadow Edition contains the original game and the prequel, which is always a good start, and this is available from the 1st to the 30th of November. Also remember, Made of Skirt is also available until the 16th of November, so download that while it gets good. But this is a game that is rated about 5 out of 10 for difficulty, and about 15 to 20 hours to complete, and... It is actually quite a decent game, I mean especially if you're into the stealth genre as well. We will be embarking on a dark journey of blood and secrets, basically, so that's always, uh, yeah, it's always fun, right? So if you get your genitalia wet about that sort of thing, this is right up your street. But there are plenty of different things to do to get all the achievements. We need to complete every chapter twice to achieve contrasting objectives. Killing enemies in one, then not killing any in the other playthrough. Which, you know, for me, it's a bit of a pain in the ass going through the game twice. But, hey, I'm just a lazy sunbeach. Uh, also, there are a lot of scrolls to collect. But other than those, it'll be a lot of situational ch uh, achievements to get. And you will get them along the way. Overall, it's not difficult, but it can take a while purely due to going through the game twice. So next up then, we have a game which not everyone may enjoy, but it is still quite a good one. And that is Swim Sanity, and that was only released a few short weeks ago. And why might others not enjoy it? Well, it's a multiplayer. Shoot them up, and the keyword there is multiplayer. Now, on paper, it, sound, it does sound fun. Up to four friends can team up or battle each other over 150 challenges strewn across the game. The execution, however, oh, it hasn't necessarily been perfect. Honestly, not a lot of people seem to be playing, and there are some glitchy achievements. But if the guys over at Decoy Games can sort it out before November the 15th, as that when it comes out, all the way up until December 15th, then I think it genuinely can be a good successful game. Judging from the achievement list, you know, you've got to win 100 matches, survive different levels, and wave games, and to be honest, this does look more like a 7 out of 10 difficulty, and seemingly over 100 hours to complete. Unless, of course, you can constantly just boost it all the time, which would drastically reduce said time of difficulty. Either way, it does actually <laughs> look like quite the fun game. And the third game, and the final game with achievements you can get, is... Eh, hey, you can't beat it. You just cannot beat it. You can't beat a bloody Lego game, and that one is Lego Indiana Jones. And for the final game, you can grab another 1k in, is... Like I said, always fun Indiana Jones Lego. And basically, with all Lego games, you can just chuck in a few cheats to make your life nice and easier. Play scenes from the first three movies, job done. Uh, achievements wise, again, you know, if you haven't played it yet, still somehow, for some reason, there's not much going on apart from the unlock all characters, uh, unlock a ton of studs, etc. But with an estimated difficulty out of 3 out of 10 and a 10 to 15 hour completion rate, expect this one to get done rather quickly. And this one is available from the 16th to the 30th of November. Enjoy! And for the fourth and final game, but of course this one is without achievements, seen as it is an Xbox original game, is Full Spectrum Warrior. Now, a lot of you will remember, like I said, this on the PlayStation 2 or the original Xbox, one I enjoyed thoroughly, but it is a squad-based, real-time, tactical-type game, very much like Operation Flashpoint, if anyone has played that. Uh, you need to command Alpha and Bravo squads using authentic military protocols as you battle your way through every level. And that one is available from the 1st to the 16th of November. So that's that then, guys and gals. I mean, is there any game that actually tickles your pickle? Or are you slightly disappointed again by what's on offer? Because we're, as we all know, Games of Gold has taken a lot of flack in recent months. But let me know below. And thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Big shout out to TimG84 for the continued support on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one. 
Big love.